All right, guys, welcome back to Plague Tale Requiem. As you can tell, the face coming is back, and oh boy, what an episode the last video was. Like, we didn't expect what happened to Beatrice to happen. We got backstabbed by the whole people on the island. I had a funny feeling that they was good at the, the new. Um, and right now, we are underneath the city. People are broken. It's just, it's crazy. But good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back. Let's just get into this and see where today's story is going to take us. Is it the arm? Shoulder. We have to fix it. Do it. Don't oh. move. It's gonna hurt. Are you all right? Come on. Hugo, let's go. Um, for those know, like, well, don't know, the reason that I, I kind of reacted that way was this last couple of weeks, uh, I've been having shoulder issues. The door behind me, which is normally here, which you can't see really on camera, uh, I stumbled into that and I smashed my shoulder against the door frame and fell to the ground. But it popped out and popped back in. But I was in excruciating pain. And then to go to the hospital that day and then for them to dislocate it, to pop it back in, I know exactly how she felt right then. And, uh, yeah, so... It just brought back very, very recent memories. But it's definitely been weird recording without camera recently and it sucked for me because i'm a very expressive person you know and to to go without a camera it's a whole another level of conversation for me i i don't like because i feel like when there's no camera there i have to constantly be speaking all the time to make sure there's interaction but when there's a camera there and you, you you can see people reacting to something. It's another form of communication. So, I, I couldn't afford the camera right now, but I had to go into my savings. And uh, that's something I've not done since I've become a full-time content creator. I've never got into my <laughs> savings. It's something I'd never wish, I, I'd never said I'll do, but I feel like it was an emergency for me to do so. We've got a crafting table. Come on. Anything will help. You need it. Nope. We've got absolutely nothing. Nothing's going to help. Can I we... Uh, yeah, we can. Let's just top up our supplies. There has to be a way out. Look. Up there. An opening. It's our way out. How do we? The upper floor. There may be things up there we can use. Where is this I'll the look. cathedral we walked Stay with into? him. Amicia, you're still hurt. Try to bring him back. However you can. Please. Fine. But don't go too far. Okay, so we need to shoot through there from that. Well, Hugo. I think you can hear me. I'm <gasps> sorry. I need to know if you're right. My skin's cold. Can't the move this thing from here. here. It, it looks move. larger. From the Must other side. Spread inside your mind. Here. Oh, keep going. Let me see your eyes. Pupils not dilated. You're barely blinking. Friendly. 
I think he's just, I think Hugo's just in shock of what just happened. Losing his mother and new enough thinking he lost everything, including Amicia. <laughs> Like his whole world was about to crumble. Hold on. Oh, you have to hold on. It's so dark in here. What's this? What a mess. Putting every little bit of strength into protecting that boy. And it's killing her. Hugo, if you can hear my voice, move one of your fingers. Be careful! Yes. Are you all right? Yes. How is he? His mind is extinguished. I, I think it's not just the shock. It's the macula. So he's not coming back? Not yet. Let's use this thing. Come on, Hugo. inside the carrier's tomb. It will kill the sun. What? What? Sun killer. The light devourer. It's the nebula the old texts talk about. It's real. I'm home. No. No! This isn't home! Hugo, look at me! It's not him, Amicia. It's the macula talking, trying to fill the void left by your mother's death. I, I should have saved her, but... We can still finish this. You hear me, Hugo? We can find that bastard Count and kill him! No, enough! Amicia, we need to leave this damn rock and take him away from here. He's drowning. Amicia, focus. You need to push back. Talk to him. Keep him afloat. He needs you. All right. All right. Right. 
what are we doing here? What are we doing? This is going to be chaos. I just wanted to get a bit of a look around before we moved here. Stay very close. So many of them. Mind your torch. Yes. Watch out! <laughs> That's what I was talking about. <coughs> Stay away from those fumes. <laughs> it burns! Stay cautious. There's more. I see them. Careful! <laughs> Stay away from the anything. pods. Right before it'll burst. I told you, his bond with the macula is getting stronger. I know you're still there, Hugo. Please hold. This is bloody mad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get out of here, please. wasn't me I didn't do yes. anything there's something ahead I see it what the hell oh my god it cannot be how many are there inside yes I'm here hey I'm waiting let's go Lucas now yes come Hugo no I'm staying there is nothing here for you. This is home. This is... Stop! You're coming with me, whether you want to or not. You hear me? He's coming with me! You made us so angry. They're coming. Run! Oh. Stay close to the wall. Quick, no time is waiting to fight. Run, 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 run. Don't look back! Run! There's a drop Oh here. my god. Don't put down quick! Oh, this is so bad! The sunlight in the back! Run to it as fast as you can! <laughs> Damn you! We're getting out of here! We're not done yet. We should go. 
Yes, I'm ready. We still have to reach the harbour. Get to Sophia. I'm pretty sure there was around 15 to 16 chapters in the first one. I could be entirely wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was. Because I, I do feel like we're coming to a conclusion Wait. of the story. The village. There's something wrong with the sea. The land is gone. It's me. No. I did this. The rats did. I did. I did it. No. The Count and Countess did. Let's go. Let's just go. We're going to come across some guards now, aren't we? He was friendly with us. Yes. The tremors brought those bloody eggs out in the open. Yes, they're still here. Always. Always in my head. Hugo. Let him, Amicia. You are not in charge. I am the one in charge. Oh, no. You obey me. You hear me? You obey me. Whoa. All right. I think they heard you. I've never seen you do that. Because it hurts. I'm sorry. The question is now, though, is he going to switch between the macular and Hugo's personality? Is that what's going to affect us now? Like, right now we have Hugo. Then is it going to be the macular that's going to speak next and bring them back? You felt that? That Trevor wrecked the oil jars. Soldiers. Why do we still want the child? He'll be the end of us. He ruined everything. This happened because he's under the influence of that defiler girl. That's why the Count wants her dead at all costs. Uh, let's hope it works. Defiler? You've earned a new title, Amicia. The Count's still alive and spreading his lies. <laughs> Okay, so guide down there. There's a guide up here, isn't there? Okay, we're clear. Let's move slowly and just progress through this. Let's try not to get caught this time or do have to do like a mass killing spree. This one's got a helmet. There is a rat thing here. The shield guy might see this. Or the guy around the corner. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have to go into the middle bit though. Of 
No, I don't want to rush this bit. I want to get into that grass where he's at now, but... The only way I can see us doing that is going onto the opposite side of this wall, but... This guy will see me. We need the timing of him to be over there, looking into that grass, while he's walking backwards to where he's just come from. We're getting out of here. We're going to find Sophia. Sail away. He needs to turn around now, and I could possibly ma um, make it. Uh, he's going this way now. Here, though. Do I go down? Or do I... We don't go across here, do we? No, it looks like we do go down here. Okay, we do that fall into. I think it's the village entrance. What's okay, the gates. Uh. Okay, so we're going to here. We've got a big boy here now. We don't have any bushes or anything. We've got this guy to deal with, and we can't extinguish that, I don't think. There is rats here. And that guard's coming to us over there. I'm pretty sure a pot, a pot will extinguish it, but, um, Alicia, mm. how are you holding up? We made it this far. This island can drown. We're getting away. I want to hide. We need something to reach it. Gotta be quick. I need to get rid of this guy. Because I have a feeling as soon as I drop this. He's going to charge. We need to climb up this or we might need to push it. I believe it's going to roll down and we climb, climb. But I don't want to take the risk and it's not and we have to push it down. And then he's going to be charging us, right? So I'm going to go with the pot. I'm going to go with the extinguish. I'm going to try and extinguish the flame he's on that he has. And then release them rats. So I'm going to throw an empty pot. Pretty sure. And, then, and I've just run out of pots. <laughs> oh, what a spoon. What an absolute spoon. Critters. Vicious little bastards. Okay, they don't suspect us though. He is with me. It's this this guy. We could just with a crossbow. Did 
did not want to use a, a fire arrow, but oh well. Okay, so it did roll down. I just wanted to make sure. Because I don't want to die. There's a boat over there. Yes. Please be alive. Please be alive. I can't believe our Countess is dead. I heard the Count is so devastated he won't even be there for the hanging. They built a gallows on the Harbour Square for Arno. They're hanging the walls down there. I wanted to see that. Yes, me too. We need him. He's not dead. He needs us. We don't have time. We must go. Really? Mm -hmm. Even after what he's done? We need to reach that harbor anyway. We get Arno on the way and we get out of here. Careful with the drop here. Yes. Opportunity skill on what? We've not actually had a look at the, uh, the skills. Here it goes. Oh. It's falling. Watch out! Don't just stand there watching. Move your asses! This is their only exit route, and their time is as short as ours. Keep patrolling. Take the child away from the defiler! Yes, sir! Right, so we can already see Prudence is up. Uh, Amicia improves her body position to throw items farther. Aggressive, we've only got one we're about to get recovery. Keeping her calm when she is attacked, Amicia recovers faster from blows. And then also optimizing her alchemical craft, Amicia has a chance to save one resource she uses when she crafts alchemical ammo. I really hope so. Material division. Being more meticulous, a meteor obtains pieces when she crafts alchemical ammo. Okay. So we need to make our way through this area. Remember, we've got the power of the rats to use. I don't think there's a point of us coming up this bit, was there? Okay, it's just this guy here. Make my way into this house. I knew something was wrong with rats. We could extinguish that guy and just get rid of him instantly. Okay, so the guy on this ground level down here, we've got to be careful for archers. Jump gently on my way. 
Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I only want to use them when absolutely necessary. And that wasn't necessary. <laughs> well, the, the crossbow was. The hitting that other guy in the head wasn't. What the hell, Lucas? looks like proper hell. The child will fix this. The child did this. He did it because of her. But the Count will teach him. He'll show him the way to shine on the world. I just hope I'm alive to see it. Okay. I had to wait for that dialogue to finish there because I had a feeling that they might move once it finished and I didn't want to move straight away because I didn't know if that guy underneath the archway was going to see us. So we have the big guy who roams inside the church. This guy here below us that roams this little street. And it looks like the other guy just patrols that archway. Please stay with us. I'm here. So just stay. I beg you. I need to get to that bush over there and then we can assess what we need to go through from there. Be cautious with the drop. I'll try. We're just going to move from bush to bush, sneaking where we can. So this guy's going to walk along here now. And when he turns back, I'm going to presume that other guy is going to walk behind that that um, carriage. We need to go three, two, one, now. Child to do it. Okay, there is a chest there, but that is extremely, extremely risky to grab. Extremely risky. Because he doesn't last by the time we get over to that chest, he's gonna turn around because he doesn't he doesn't wait too long, this big guy. He doesn't wait and face that wall with uh, like long enough. Unless we were to distract him with something, but Right, that's the only time you can really get him is if you go from here whilst he's and you follow him but you don't know if that other guy is going to be walking what we need to do now is we need to head to that gate when that guy's walking that way and so is that guy and by the time this guy now has turned around he's going to be walking backward back towards that arch so their timings are kind of not symmetrical right now we need to get the right time in here because he's going to walk over there now He's going to walk that way. I think I think the big guy's going to turn around before this guy who can even make the move here. If we wait one more loop, I do believe we might be able to get it. Yeah, he's coming back now. He's standing there now. He's going back across as well. Okay, it might be one more after this one. 
This next next one might be risky. Yeah, it's, we're gonna we're gonna do it after this next one. Because if I jump out now, he's still not turned around yet. He has now. Okay. Okay. We should be able to do it now. Oh, the patience. The patience. Okay, he stopped. He stopped. Okay, now's the time, now's the time, now's the time. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Ooh, bloody hell. I thought it was going to go down there then, like bloody Legolas. Come on. bench. All right, let's get to work. No supplies though. Climb up. All right. Got an additional pox. We need to jump down. Uh-huh. Not seen anybody. could to survive oh. even if mistakes were made oh boy things are about to get chaotic because this is the wall it's just like a pile of crap now hopefully we can free him and he can do some bloody damage on him. Let's move closer. It's crowded. Yes, get ready. There are jaws of tar right next to them. No, Amicia. Do something. Give it to me. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, she died because she didn't want to see the truth, just like the rest of you. 
His front arm is off. I have a few extinguished. I'll help. Yes. Big guy, dude. We need to get rid of this shield guy's armor. Oh my god. I know. Meet Hugo. Bloody hell. It's over now. We did it, Hugo. Yes. Breathe. Calm down now. That's Friano, right? Yes. Please. Come on. Wasn't that a sore shoulder? Was it the Hugo one? says it was his. Oh, it's the shield. your mother? She won't come back. We must go. Now. I see. I'll take it from here. You, come!
She's never coming back. I know. I wanted to tell her <laughs> a lot of things. Me too. But she knew everything already. You were her greatest gift. She loved you the way you are, the way she made you. We will live. And we will heal. The scars? We keep them so that we don't forget. So that we can accept. Until they don't hurt anymore. Wow. Hey. Chapter 14. Healing our wounds. I thought we'd never get back. Not all of us did. But he'll get better now. We all will. Come talk if you want. All right. Fresh air. That was a little chaotic though. 